Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is Greybeard Overland and today what we're going to do is do a walk around of the M416 trailer. So stay tuned. It's going to be a fun ride. So let's start up at the front of the trailer here. We've got uh, the lock and roll hitch system. It allows this trailer to articulate freely from the, the Jeep and uh, it's fantastic. I've had it across some, some twisty things and had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, the Fulton fold away hinge again the reason for that is when it's sitting in the garage in storage I can pull the pin fold that back and gain about three feet of usable real estate in uh, the garage so up front here got a uh, Harbor Freight tongue box um, it's pretty straightforward uh, tongue box what I did is uh, welded a couple of pieces of angle iron on to the uh, the frame and then bolted it down through that as well as into the frame so that tongue box is not going any place it does support some pretty significant weight and i'll show you inside here in a little bit um, the reason it's all dull right now is i've started sanding it down i'm going to be painting it with a black monster liner um, so it'll match the uh, the exterior of the tub of the of the trailer so these ammo cans will also be monster lined um, in black and the nice thing is you'll see i've got locks on just about everything i've got these locked up they uh, keep honest people honest and you can see the uh, there's a bracket welded onto the trailer here and then onto the top of the uh, ammo can and uh, while it's in it's locked in place you can't remove that ammo can now and if you can see down here at the very bottom I've got uh, there's round stock that is welded to the the bottom that fits in a couple of uh, pieces of uh, steel tubing that uh, is like a receiver for it so that it'll slide out you can access the inside of the can um, easy enough without completely removing it from the trailer um, the lid, which I went through in the last episode, um, as well as the fenders, are going to be monster lined in the lime green color. Um, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to like all that green, but uh, I, I do. I love it, and uh, so I'm going to commit to getting that monster lined. The canister you see on top of the fender, that uh, holds propane cylinders for the, uh, for the Coleman stove. So also locked, all the uh, padlocks are key to like, makes it kind of nice. The wheels um, are the same bolt pattern as a CJ7. Um, so I've got three matching wheels that uh, I picked up, um, used on the Facebook marketplace and um, were able to bolt those right up. Um, Back here in the back, you notice the, uh, the brand new reflectors. Uh, the original reflectors were pretty rough for wear. Um, 50 years worth of corrosion and, and other paint on them and what have you. So I simply uh, jumped on eBay and ordered a brand new set. So I got brand new um, brackets uh, that hold the reflector, brand new reflectors and everything. Um, super cheap. So... The tail lights, as well as the pods for the reverse lights, are submersible, waterproof. Um, so um, I have no concerns there. I've had the trailer through water um, and uh, no problems. That guy right there is a bottle opener. So I've got a thing for skulls, and so I had to put him on there. He's kind of cool. Um, the... Spare tire carrier is modified from a CJ as well. And um, as you can see, it uh, 
is hinged so it would swing open. I have it uh, mounted currently permanently, um, well, semi-permanently. It's bolted so that it uh, can be moved um, if I need to, um, but the original plan was I might put a tailgate in. Uh, the jury's still kind of out on that. Uh, the jerry cans, I currently carry uh, five gallons of water, five gallons of fuel. Um, I have one more of each of those, so I could certainly switch it out if I, if I needed to. Um, here's a spare tire. The fire ring um, was made to just fit that tire, as you can see. And it is held on with these brackets that are secured on the uh, tubular steel for the tire carrier and then uh, with turnbuckles. And what I did was I split some rubber rope um, and put it on here so it's not rubbing against the powder coating and, and uh, causing issues there. Again, everything's padlocked, keeping honest people honest. These brackets, again, these are available from Compact Com Camping Concepts um, in Oregon. They're fantastic. Um, you can, they come raw steel. You can paint them or get them finished however you want. I opted for the uh, powder coating, the crinkle finished powder coating. It's, it's very durable. I did the crossbars the same. I sprayed bed liner inside all the way through and uh, I'm going to, I've got some plastic caps that are going in here. Um, they just, uh, the first ones I got weren't the right size. And here we are to the tongue box. As we look at the tongue box, the, um, we've got power in there, four switches, USB charging port, monitors the battery health. This is for uh, 12 volt, like cigarette lighter, adapter. I don't know if you can see that little guy right there, but he is super interested in what the heck I'm doing here. He's been hovering here for minutes and uh, kind of freaks me out because I don't like to get stung. I think there's something about the lights that he likes or something, but he is just hanging out there. I don't know if you can see that big old stinger on the back of him, but uh, I have no interest in finding out what that feels like. So inside the tongue box, resides the Group 31 AGM Marine Battery, it's deep cycle. I've also got a trickle charger in there, so when it's plugged in in the garage, or if we happen to be at a campground or what have you, it can charge the battery. I uh, will be adding solar at some point here in the, the future as well. Got a couple of fans in there, um, so just kind of using it for some storage as well. The power inverter, again, the reason I put this on here was so that I could change that inverter at any point in time and not have to worry about drilling new holes in the uh, lid of the tongue box. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. I hope that you enjoyed the walk around of the M416 trailer. Uh, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed it. And I'm certainly enjoying sharing these with you. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about how the process worked and so on and so forth. So don't, uh, don't be afraid. Don't be bashful. Ask any questions, post a comment, uh, happy to answer them for you. And if you could do me a huge favor, this little icon that's going to pop up right here, make sure you uh, click that subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share them with your friends. That would be a huge support. All right. In the meantime, make all of your adventures safe ones. We'll see you the next time guys. Bye-bye.